Okay, so we've got this technique here coming in. Again, he's lighting up. Okay, I'm hitting this. I'm doing destruction in here. Okay, using that elbow again. I'm showing people around here. It's the bicep, it's the deltoids, it's whatever, it's the pec, it's the neck too. If I get in real tight, yeah, sorry about that. Okay, from here as it comes in, if I get him real tight, that really lights him up here and then I can basically do whatever I want. Okay, I can paint his head if I want. Okay, right here. Okay, so from here, as he comes in and strikes, I'm setting in tight. Okay, right, here's my defense. Okay, again, it comes out of that traditional type of stance here and, just, and technique. As it enters in, right from here, all I'm going to do is I'm hooking the head. Okay, as I technique, I just switch the technique. I can hook the head here. If I'm inside, I can just hook the head with this straight hand. Okay, that way I've got another hand to do technique as I'm striking. So from here, inside, switch technique is what we started with, which is here. Right? Again, it's this reaping kind of motion. Right? Mr. Buckland from his Japanese background, the Weichiru, they have this kind of pulling, reaping motion. Okay, in the, the Korean arts, they have kind of what this is a tiger claw kind of thing. Uh, for those of you back in the day, it's paint the fence. Okay, from the old Karate Kid stuff, right? Okay, from here. Okay, so it's pulling down, it's reaping that, it's reaping the head. Now I'm entering in with my technique. Again, if he's got a good strong stance here, if he's pulling back from me, break the balance. Okay, move the position, break the balance, and striking in. I want to be tight in on my opponent because a lot of these traditional techniques, as we look at them, we say, well, gosh, this doesn't work if I'm way out here because what happens? Right? Yeah, that arm naturally curves in. Now I'm hit and I'm going, whoa, I'm not in the right position. So from here, this traditional technique works in tight. So as he throws the technique, I'm here, I'm in tight, I'm in good body position. My body weight shifts forward, I'm striking. Okay, from here, I'm reaping okay, and pulling the body to me. If I can't reach the head, I've got a great target down here. Boom. Okay, into the groin, into the side of the leg, break the balance. Now I can continue to strike if I want, lock up the head, pull that down, do all kinds of fun stuff. Okay, so from here, this is what I want you to do. In, defending, striking, reaping, now find the target. Boom, front of the thigh is great. Slide in, different type of technique. Try it out with your partner. We're tight. <clears throat> How you doing? You can jump into something else. What? Yeah. Oh, you do, it's fine. What do you want me to do? You want me to do the knee thing? Sure. No, sure. sure. I wouldn't even over that far. Sure. I would that far. What time? Ten minutes. We got another fifteen minutes. Okay. So then we're gonna do. We need to do the front kick. Okay. And then we'll shorten it. We'll shorten the range and do the knee. Okay. Right. Because we did counter punch. Did you cover? You covered counter punch. Yep. Okay. Okay. That's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, and just like you were doing there, I love going to that back leg. Okay, when you throw that knee strike in here, right in the top of the thigh and that back leg, that really sets it up. Best thing that's a, it's the best thing about this technique for you is you want to make sure that you're striking the whole way. Okay, so it's here, it's that striking the whole way and the different techniques to make him think about the upper, you know, the upper body as we're going to the lower body because then we continue to set him up and confuse his body. Okay, as we go upper, lower, upper, lower, upper, lower, we're switching side to side, okay, it confuses the brain. You're thinking about each side, I'm trying to defend, I don't know where I'm at, okay, as I'm doing these strikes. So as you go through, make sure all along the way you're doing these little strikes and here, these pulls, these pushes, okay, to set up the technique. Good. Okay. When you've got this arm out here, as it looks like he's going to grab hold of you, because this is something a grappler would do. If I gave a grappler this position, they're going to sink their head, they're going to pick me up, and pull. okay, push me back. So from here, as I get this position here, I want to make sure that I take that arm, okay, boom, okay, go into a technique in here. I want to hit that so that they're not thinking about the head as, as a technique.